The climb towards the top has been a steady one for Lancaster at the WIAA Division III State Boys Golf Tournament. The Flying Arrows tied for 6th in 2011, finished 4th in 2012, and were runners-up a year ago. Nathan and Gates, they've, this is their third year. Uh, my brother's just his first year, but we've had experience at this state meet, and I think that's really helped. It seemed to put Lancaster at ease, especially with some long waits between holes. They look pretty relaxed on the greens, too. Just look at this Andrew Gates putt on number nine. And really where they've matured a lot is in their mental game. I mean, it's unbelievable for these high school kids to, to play at that high of a mental level. And uh, they, they just buy into it, and they bought into it year after year, uh, last year especially, and now this year. And our freshman, the foreman, has been uh, really impressive this year because you know, he's a freshman and he's yeah. coming in and he, he could think that uh, there's pressure there, but he doesn't play that way. He just plays the game and uh, they're a fun team to coach. They were a lot of fun to coach during Monday's opening round at University Ridge. The Flying Arrows didn't count a score higher than 83 in a 317 team tally. That left them eight shots ahead of second place Osseo Fairchild, the defending Division Three state champ, entering Tuesday's final round. Leading the wave for Lancaster was senior Zach Kentrich. He had it two under early in his round before a double bogey at number nine. He got it back to one under after a birdie at 16, but finished bogey, double bogey. We've been playing well all year, so and I think we're striding right now. During through, Throughout this whole playoffs, we've, um, you want to play well during this time, and I think our team is doing that. So we, I guess we got ourselves in a good position. And, uh, all goes well tomorrow. Individually, sophomore Thomas Longbella of Chippewa Falls McDonald has a three-shot lead after an opening round 69. He had four birdies and one bogey on his round, but his most impressive shot might have been this 110-foot leg putt on the 17th green. He leads St. Mary Springs' Patrick Treichel by three shots, entering the final what round. What were you thinking, and, and uh, how comfortable were you starting out this morning? I was just out here to have fun, play my game, I guess. I don't know enjoy the weather. What was the, uh, what got your round started? Uh, my putting was pretty decent. I made a couple of decent, decently length putts to start it off. That gained me some confidence. I actually thought he probably would score a little bit better on the par fives. Um, he had a few, a few drives that were just five to 15 feet from being great sure. and then kind of would put him in a, in a position where he had to scramble a little bit. So, um, didn't didn't quite score as well on the par fives as I would have thought, but uh, and then he, he muffed up a couple of the par threes too. So hopefully tomorrow he can, you know, have a little better luck on the par threes and and maybe get a couple more birdies on the par fives. 